me clearly. You can hear me clearly. Just let me know in your chat. You are loud and clear. If I'm coming through clearly, just raise your hand. Comment in the chat. No, great, people. I'm coming through clearly without an itch or a glitch this time around. It is a team pleasure to be here today, ladies and gentlemen. Believe me, I'd rather be nowhere else at this point in time than on this Zoom line speak out. Because I'm telling you, I'm super excited that I'm in the presence of such great and awesome leaders. You know, I'm excited that I'm in the presence of some of the best entrepreneurs on the face of the planet. I'm super excited that I'm in the presence of some set of people who decided that uh, they'll never lie down and be walked upon, you know, but rather we'll get up and make a decision to totally transform our future so that our future can be in our hands. I'm super excited that I'm here with you uh, at this point in time because let me tell you something. There's a saying that iron sharpness iron. Iron sharpness iron. And I know not one of you will be here on this Zoom call or would be even in this business for that matter if you didn't want to make better. If you didn't see for yourself awesomeness greater than what there is right now, you know? And if you're already in business for yourself and your business is booming and you join us, you know, it, it is because that you saw something that can truly help to diversify what you're already doing. And we're happy to have you here. And I am happy to be here because I'm telling you, this opportunity is a life-changing opportunity. This opportunity is the best there is. So we're gonna be continuing on our topic that um, because of the, the bad connections and all of these things that kept ticking us off yesterday or kicking me off yesterday. I didn't get to complete the full hour of whose permission do you need to succeed? Whose permission do you need to succeed? So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to grab your notebooks. I want y'all to grab your pens. I want y'all to get ready because we're about to go into it. I'm going to share with you today a story of resilience. I'm going to share with you a story of never say die. And you see, when you see what you need, when you see what you want, when you see something that can truly change your present situation and, and make you better, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. You step out and step up every time. You step out and you step up every time. So we have to understand that we're in a business that helps people to develop. And I understood that, ladies and gentlemen. I understood that. When I got started with this company on May 1st, 2017, I got started with this company because when I looked through the company, when I looked at the products, I was impressed. When I looked at the compensation plan, I was blown away. When I looked at the leader and the leadership beyond the company, the, 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 the visionary of this company, I realized that I had to align myself with this. Had to, I couldn't let, let this pass. And let me tell you, you see, when God is putting something in your hands, ladies and gentlemen, this is how God operates. He'll never hand it to you easily. Never. So, so a couple of days ago, I was reading the story of Job to my daughter. And, you know, when I, while I was reading the story of Job, there are some things that stood out to me. In the story of Job, for those who are familiar with the Bible, it says that when the sons of God presented themselves before God, the devil also presented himself. So we have to understand that the significance in that is that wherever God is and the angels of God are, the devil is also there. That is very important for us to know. It's very important. So while blessings and prosperity and abundance 
is in one place. There is also failure, curse, and setbacks. It is very important that we know this. So I am reading through the story, and I'm going through it, and it says that God, God put Job before the devil. The Lord asked Job, asked the devil, where are you coming from? He told him, I've been up and down in the earth, to and fro. And then God said, have you considered my servant Job? So Job was put before the devil. He was put there. The devil didn't even mention Job. God did. So you see, the reason why God had mentioned Job is because, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, he knows, he knows that without a test, there can't be a testimony. Job, at that point, he was having the time of his life with his wealth and his family and everything was flourishing. And he was giving thanks and praises, but the test was to come. So when you're building your business and you're growing and you're enjoying yourself and you're having success here and success there, and then when the tests come, when, that, when you come into that time of being tested, of being tried, you lose a mega business partner. You realize the whole entire week passed through and you haven't made a sale. Or some great things that should have happened didn't happen. The test. What you do with your test will decide your testimony. So whose permission do you need to succeed? Whose permission? So, while he was there, and the Lord gave him the instructions, he went through, and he, and he went and he started testing Job. Notice, the first place that lightning struck from was the sky and killed all of Job's animals. And then a servant came to tell Job. No, listen to this. The Lord allowed the devil to go and test Job. And he told him he couldn't kill him. And the first place that lightning came from, the first place, guess what happened? It was the sky. It was the sky. Yeah, it is true. Althea. Satan does not know the plans of God. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. So God put it before him. He put it before him. So you see, God knows whenever... You see, God's plan is always perfect, ladies and gentlemen. It's always perfect. So when you're going through a test, you're going through trials, and you're going through tribulation, know this. That is always for the perfect works of the Lord. Because I... Started this thing on the 27th, the 20, on the 1st of May, 2017, 1st of May. And when I got started, I was able to use my card and sign up. And I signed up. Remember now, I'm saying, God give me this business. I'm looking at this business and I'm saying this is the best compensation plan. I'm looking at this business and I'm saying these products are awesome. And I'm looking at the leadership and I'm loving what I'm seeing. And I signed on on the, the first of me. I went and I found my sponsor. Nobody didn't even reach out. I found my sponsor. I found who I wanted to sign on with. Right? And I started up first of me. No, listen to this. When I got started on the first of me, I didn't have a glitch signing on. I sent my products through a courier company that gave me a US address. I sent it to that address and the company forwarded it to me. I paid $500 the first time I got my package, 18 T's. And I'm loving this business. I'm feeling super awesome in this business. I started promoting my products and bloop, 18 T's gone. The blink, the click of a finger. And then boom, repurchase, get another package, $500. Another 18, gone. Purchase another package, 36. $500, gone. When I purchased another package, ladies and gentlemen, that came, and when I went to the courier company to pick that up, that package was over $6,000 to clear. $6,000 to clear. And I was like, what? The package that cost me $500 now? Six hundred dollars to clear. How this explaining to me, and they're telling me that cost put the fees, customs did this and customs did that, and I was like, oh my goodness. 
So now I'm learning that everything that comes over 50 Jamaican dollars, customs attach a charge to it. So I'm like, all right, customs attach a charge to it. I shipped to Korea company, started using another Korea company, start getting my package, $700. I did it two times, three times. Boom, custom caught it. I switched to another Korea company. Same thing. A few times, custom caught it. And then I realized that this is going to be an uphill battle. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I realized that if it's worth it, it's worth fighting for. You have to write that down. If it is, if it is something that is worth it, it is worth fighting for. Because if you do not fight, if, I mean, some people are in some marriages. Like the first seven years was awesome and now it's going downhill. If it's worth it, fight for it. You're in a business and you know that right now during this COVID-19 times, probably it's a traditional business, whatever, or you're in a job, whatever it is, that you know that it is worth it. Fight for it. So I considered Vida Divina to be worth it. So I decided that I was going to fight. I decided that I was going to fight and I was going to fight dirty if it, if, it, if it requires that. I decided that. Right? So now I'm there and I got my package and I'm saying, okay, I need a way. I need a way through. But guess what? Fast forward like about seven months in this thing. Boom. I'm trying to order and I'm not able to order. I'm not able to order. So every time I try to go onto my, my, my website, order, order the products to get them, I can't go through. So I called Vida Divina's headquarters and I gave the, the customer service person on my phone, on the phone, the card, and they did it and the order went through every time. So I said, all right, cool, order is going through. So boom, fast forward a little bit. I'm calling customer. IP address up and I'm ordering boom and it's going through and I'm excited again but guess what we did this for like about by, by this time I had a team a small team of people were joining me right because let me tell you you see when you're creating a movement when that's really good and you're creating a movement you have people that are going to join because my aim was to really sell the products I was not ready to build a team or grow a mega team. I just wanted to sell some really good products and make some really good money selling some products because I've been burnt before. And I decided that I didn't want to bring another company to the, the, the forefront of this place where they're going to be here today and gone tomorrow. So I decided that I'm going to sell these things by myself, but people are using them and they jump on board just like that. So here's the thing. I have my team now and they're there and they're getting these products and then nobody can make any order now. Absolutely no one. Because the IP address hider stopped working. Vida Divina got some smart technology to block that as well because they didn't do business with her. So I'm now left in a place between a rock and a hard place. And I'm asking myself, do I really want this? Do I really want this am i ready to do what it takes to get this so ladies and gentlemen if you want something bad enough the, the analogy was taught to me like that like, um, where this gentleman he wanted to be successful and he went to a very successful person and he asked how can i become successful what do i need to do to become successful and the gentleman said i'm sure you want to know he said yes i want to know i demand to know I must know. And then the man said, okay, fine. You want to know. Meet me at the beach, five o'clock in the morning. That gentleman was so eager. He re reached at the beach at four o'clock. Happy and excited. He's going to know how success works. And he's going to become successful. 
So when the gentleman reached, the, the other, the, the, his mentor now reached five o'clock. He brought him out in the sea, way out in the sea. And when he was there, dipped his head in the water. And, he, and he, that, that, that man now fly up after having his head um, being dipped under the water. So he was, he was probably thinking like, this man wants to kill me. And he pushed him head down again underneath the water. And he's up fighting and gasping for air. And then the gentleman pushed him down again. And he pushed him down this time. He was fighting and kicking and fighting and couldn't come up. And just at that moment, when he was about to lose it all, when he was about to die, at that particular moment, when he realized that there was absolutely no way of getting out of this situation, this gentleman brought him here to kill him. And then he dragged him up. And when he dragged him up, he was able to gasp for here. So his mentor now said to him, how bad did you want to breathe? And I was like, man, you're trying to kill me. And, oh, can you imagine that man was gasping for breath? Was, oh. And he said, how bad did you want to breathe? And he said, man, I was dying. I was dying. I needed air. And the guru said to him, you see, when you want success as badly as you needed air to breathe just now, that is when you'll be successful. That is when everything will change. That is when you'll make the decision that the permission that you need to succeed is yours. Well, let me tell you this. You see, in that moment, ladies and gentlemen, there's a time when you have done everything you can because that man was kicking and screaming and trying. He was doing everything he can. Everything at that point when he realized that he was going to die. Everything. And just as when he was about to give up. He was about to give up. He was about to let go. He was pulled up by the guru, by his mentor. You see, sometimes just in that moment when we lose focus, just in that moment when it gets really hard, in that moment when we realize, goodness, this is going to be it for me. That is the moment when you're just a, a, you're about to grab your success. That's the moment when God is going to reach up now and grab you and pull you out of that situation because he realized that you have done your best. And that's why the, the, the popular saying says, let, let go and let God. Because there's so much we can do and no more. When we put our all in this thing, when we focus and we go hard and why and we try and we try and we do everything that we can do, we have to let go of self. We have to let go of self. When we talk about let go and let God, it's very significant, ladies and gentlemen, because when we let go of self, we let go of pride. And let me tell you, pride will kill you. Pride is something that will destroy you and destroy your business. Because with pride comes ego and all that goes hand in hand. All of them goes hand in hand. All right? With pride goes ego. And ego is not your amigo. Ego is not your friend. So when you hold on to this pride, this being proud of, oh, I'm not going to talk to those people. I can't walk on the street and ask people one question to share two videos. I, I'm rather, um, I mean, I'm not used to dealing. I'm going to go to the people who I know. And then you go to four or five people who you know, and those four or five people said no. Oh, I'm not going to talk to anybody else. I talk to everybody I know. This thing's just not working out. Because you decided to hold on to your pride. Hold on to your pride. You're not going to let it go to allow God to do what he needs to do in your life. To show you the reason why he brought you to this business. You see, if he's going to let me tell you something. I'll show you. But it's not going to be easy. Because if you read right through the entire Books of the Bible, anything that God gives is never easy. Never easy. Ever. There had to be a fight. Had to be. If it's worth it, it is worth fighting for. So here I am now. I'm faced with all of this situation going on. And I'm not able to order. None of my people are able to order. And the company doesn't do business maker. So I now reached out. 
to a very senior member in the company. And I reached out to him. He responded to me. I was having some problems before him and he responded to me. And then I reached out to him in relation to this issue. And he said to me, like, listen, the company doesn't... And let me tell you, this gentleman, he was very helpful. Very, very helpful. And he went out and he reached out to the CEO on my behalf. And he said to me, listen, we don't do business with, with your country. And that's it. We don't do business with your country. So I asked him, would it be possible then for me to go and get some some um, documents or whatever it needs to get this country to be open so that you guys can do business with us. And he said, listen, Vida Divina does not do business with, with, with that country and we do not allow affiliates to do business on our behalf. And I was like, oh my goodness, how am I going to get this thing now? Because pretty much he's saying to me, sir, I can't help you. I cannot help you. So sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, again, if it's going to be me, I decided that I'm going to get this and there's no one that could take this from me because God is giving me this thing right now. And every time the fight gets hard, I realize more and more that this is God. Every time. Because he's building my muscle. So when I get this thing, I don't take it for granted. Right? When I get this thing, I don't take it for granted. So there I am now talking to this gentleman and I, I was pretty much stonewalled. So I said, all right, they don't do business with us and they don't use affiliates to do their business. So I said, all right, let me go and talk to the man himself. So I messaged him. I didn't get a reply. I messaged him. I didn't get a reply. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm not getting a reply now. So what am I going to know? So I tried to message somebody else, another senior in the company. I didn't get a reply. So I said, okay. This is it. You see, sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you need to understand that what is for you, no one can take it away from you. No one. So at this point, I couldn't get to anybody. I decided that I was going to join another company. And I got some products. When I got these teas, it's another tea company. When I got these teas, I managed to sell these teas. I sold all of them. However, all of my customers who tried the Teddy Vina said to me, what is this that you brought to me? I mean, I need the superior product. So you see, our products, we never have a doubt. We never had a doubt. Our products were awesome. Our products were amazing. So I tried something mediocre. And when my people got this mediocrity, immediately they realized that this was not going to work. So God showed me that, listen, what I have is for you. Vida Divina is for you. This is where you should be. Because by this time, all my team members are now saying to me, no, uh -uh. I'm not going to that company at all. As a matter of fact, only one person back then decided they were going to still come with me. Everybody else were gone by this time. So my team was gone. They were gone. So I was left alone with one person who is not interested to follow me through. You see, sometimes it's not everyone who starts with you are going to finish with you. Not everybody who starts with you are going to finish with you. You need to know this. So when people leave you sometimes, when, when some of the best people that you have quit, just know, just like Moses was leading the Israelites to the promised land, but he wasn't a leader. Some people will come and they will lead from the front with you only to a certain point. And that's as far as they can go. Don't be mad. Don't be angry. Love them. Love them even more. But keep going. Never stop. I decided that I was never going to stop. So I kept moving and going and moving and going. I was growing in my destiny. I was growing because I'll tell you something, who I was back then, I'm a way better person now. I'm a much stronger person now. I'm a more determined person now. I was building my muscles. So when you realize that you're in the gym and you're working out and you start building your muscles, ladies and gentlemen, you have to get the pain. The muscles has to tear apart. It has to be destroyed to be rebuilt to come stronger.
if you don't believe me, do your researches. The muscles has to be torn apart. It has to be destroyed, ripped up, to rebuild and come back stronger every time that you're working out in the, in the gym. Every time. So this was my muscles being built. This was my muscles being built. I lost everything that I had worked so hard for. I've lost it. But I'm still here, and I know right now, by this time I'm sure, because I joined this other company and God said, no, this is not for you. This is not for you. Vida Divina is what I have for you. Vida Divina is what I have in store. So I'm there now, I'm saying, all right. I reached out again to Mr. Albert Jeke this time. And I'm saying to him that, listen, I'm here in Jamaica. I mean, I don't know this man at all. I'm just watching and looking around for where I can see somebody who can help me. I'm looking for someone that can help me. But by this point, when I'm talking to him, I'm saying, I need help. I'm here in Jamaica and I have this team. I have people who need tea. I need products and I'm not able to purchase. How can I go about getting products? He said to me, Vida Divina doesn't, this is it, Jamaica. So I'm saying, oh my God, I know. So I'm thinking now another episode. I said, I know. So what do I do? But by this time, he didn't reply to me for some time during the course of the day. And I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to get this thing? How am I going to work out? So whilst I was worrying, God was creating a way. So when I didn't see him respond to me after a certain time, I messaged him and I said, thank you very much. And then he messaged me back and said, oh, I was busy. And ship products to you. So I was like, yes, here comes my breakthrough. Here comes the breakthrough. But I didn't even know it. I didn't know, even know that this was a breakthrough. I just know that I know can get products. Well, you see, God wanted us to build a team. God wanted a lot of his people to be blessed with this opportunity. He wanted a lot of doors to be opened through this opportunity. So me being selfish, deciding that I'm going to get this opportunity for myself and I'm going to get this opportunity um, to sell the products. He's saying that, Karen, build a team. I have a lot more people that you should be blessed using. I have a lot more people that you should be blessing, a whole lot more. So I said, all right, I sent, um, Albert said, you sent it to me. So I said to him, listen, don't even stress it. If you're going to send products to me, because he checked if I'm in honest team and I wasn't there. So I said, if you're going to send products to me, ensure that I'm on your team. I'm going to give up my account and I'm going to sign with you. And I wrote a, a letter, of res an email of resignation and I sent it to Vida. I resigned that whole account. Right, because by this point, my upline had quit. I remember the last conversation I had my upline, she was like, um, I don't know what is happening. And um, she's over there in Arizona. And she said, boy, um, things have not been good. And, you know, a lot of my people have, have, have fell off. And this is happening and that is happening. And, I've, and, and I'm not doing Vida Divina anymore. And, and I'm like, okay. Okay, cool. You're not doing Vida Divina anymore. Fine. So I resigned that whole entire position and I came over to where I'm now connected. So I'm saying to Albert, listen, what can I do to get Vida Divina official in Jamaica? Because I knew that even though you'll be sending products to me, it's going to be a matter of time. I'm going to be going AWIRE. So what can I do to get Vida Divina in Jamaica? And he said, this is how God works. He works with a sense of humor. Albert said, listen, get $50,000 50, US dollars worth of volumes in Jamaica, and we'll come there and put an office there. So I'm like, 50,000 volumes. I said, okay, fine. 50,000 volumes. And then he gave me an offer. He said, get 100 people in the organization, and I'll come there myself. And we can do a tour. I said, okay, cool. We'll do that. Ladies and gentlemen, I we started out. We started out building. We started out building. And I started 
out there calling and talking to people who I didn't know. Because at this time, everybody who I knew, they had left me. Everybody who I knew starting out with, they, they were gone. So it was me alone. All of my people who started the journey with me, except one, gone. They were all gone. I'm now faced with building this team with complete strangers, people I don't know. So I'm walking around, talking to people and ask them, who do they know want to lose five to seven pounds after some within a week? I'm asking everybody this question. And I'm getting the answers. And I'm realizing the power of race kicks in. The power of race kicked in. And I'm getting no's, and I'm getting yeses, and I'm getting no's, and I'm getting yeses. And I'm putting down my yeses. And I'm retailing my products. And when people tried it, I'm giving them the business opportunity. And I'm now building again. I'm rebuilding. Being awesome this time. I'm connected now with someone who is directly connected to this operation. So I'm working the business. We did 100 pretty quick. And Albert flew here. And we did a five parish tour in Jamaica. But guess what? That five parish tour that we did, there were not a lot of people who were coming out. We were in rooms of, of um, 10 people. Rooms of five people, rooms of 12 people, small amount of people showing up. But we did the five parish tour. We got through it happily. And we're excited after the five parish tour. Ladies and gentlemen, you see after that week, after that week, the team quadrupled. After that week, the team quadrupled. Because God's showing us that we are the, 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 the source. Sometimes the bills is the refuse later become the head and I need to write that. So I'm not talking about and then we took this start out because we guys got to Jimmy and you guys are going to first I need this fix. See they told me earlier that Carol, your phone is breaking up really bad. All right, am I coming through clearly? No, just let me know. Let's put it in the chat. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's let me know, ladies and gentlemen. Whenever I'm breaking up, let me know. Let's put it in the chat yeah. or unmute and let me know. Yeah, we're hearing you better now. Awesome. All right, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, so what I'm saying now, after going through all of this, and they told me, that Vida Divina does not allow affiliates to do this on their behalf. That's what they told me. So after they are telling me this, fast forward a few months later, I'm connected with Albert Jamaica. Jamaica is growing on autopilot. And now we need the paperwork to get things sorted out. So they're saying, Karen, can you go the Ministry of Health to get the paperwork that we need in order for uh, Vida Divina to become official in Jamaica. They said to me, Karen, can you go 
and find out what is required for us to be there in Jamaica. The same man who they told that they don't use affiliates to do business on behalf of the company is the same man that company is not asking to do all of these things because I did not give up. I didn't give up. I didn't stop. I kept going and I kept moving. So sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, when you are told no, no means not right now. But they were telling me when they were telling me that I don't use affiliates to do business on behalf of Vida Divina. They just said, listen, when we're not using affiliates right now to do business on behalf of Vida Divina. Because I'm the man. They called upon. Right? So if you're in a position right now, boy, this thing is hard. It is rough. It is tough. I don't know how I'm going to do this thing. I don't know how this thing is going to work out. Keep going. Keep moving. Keep pressing. Keep driving. Right? Never stop. You have to keep going. Because through your trials and tribulation will come your success. You have to understand the same place where your success exists is also there. In that same place. You'll have a lot of people get successful through Vida Divina. You'll have a lot of people. Failure and success is at the same place. But how bad do you want it? Do you want success as bad as you're able to breathe? Because if that's your mindset, I'm telling you, you'll be ready to change the game. You'll be ready to change the game. Remember I told you all yesterday that if you know all the skills and you didn't have this down, the mindset, the proper mindset that is required, then all of that wouldn't make any sense because you would not do what it takes. Because I had all the skills in the world. I had all the know-hows in the world. But my mindset that I had was way more important than any skill I knew. Because with the mindset that I had, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to push on, to fight through, to make this happen, to never say die. I decided because of the mindset. So the mindset that you are in right now, you maybe had a, a, have a few victories, or you may have a failure. The mindset that you're in right now, is it a mindset of a winner? Is it the mindset of a champion? Because champions, champions are bred in the mind. That's where it starts first before it comes on the field. You have to be triumphant in your mind first before that can be translated on the field, every time. So even though I was going through these things, even though I was faced with all of this, this, this um, fight, even though I was, I was, I was um, in a position where anybody who would, was in that position, I would have given up, would have been justified in giving up. They would have been so justified. They would have been validated in giving up, right? I decided that I was not going to give up because I learned something that was very important to me. That winners are separated from quitters because the winners give up. Not because they, were, they, they um, were not faced with the same opportunity. The quitters were faced with the same opportunity as the winners. The quitters were there when the winners were there. The winners were just as fearful as the quitters. Just fearful. The winners faced the same or even worse challenges. Oh, yes, the winners will face worse challenges. Because when you decide to win, you will go through a lot of stuff. So the winners were faced with worse challenges than the quitters. But what separated them and made them great? They decided never to quit. They decided to win. And comes what may, night or day, life or death. Power or weakness. I will win. I will win. If it costs my life, I will win. If, I, if, if it means that I have to lose all my friends, I will win. 
If my family have to turn their backs against me, I will win because God is with me. So you have to focus and have this winning mindset, this never say die, this mindset that says, listen, I will either be at the top of that mountain or they'll find me dead by the wayside. But I'm not coming off and I'm not stop climbing and I'm climbing and I'm climbing and I'm going to the top. This week I hit bronze. Next week I'm back at affiliate. I will win. This week I made a hundred thousand dollars. Next week I made a thousand dollars. I will win. I will never stop. That's my resolve. That's the kind of mindset that it takes to win in a business like this, ladies and gentlemen. That's the kind of mindset it takes to win in life. That's the kind of mindset it takes to, to relax one day on the beaches of the world, looking back at what you went through whilst your family is there with you because all of you guys could afford a private jet flight all the way over to St. Croix, relaxing and chilling and enjoying the kind of efforts that you had put in because right now your income does not require you being there. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this kind of winning? Are you ready for this kind of lifestyle? Are you ready for this kind of upgrade? You see, one of the things I never liked when I was doing a job, it was up to a man to promote me. What I didn't like, whilst I was, I was in the working world, I was at the mercy of somebody else. What I didn't like is that if I was not there, I was not being paid. What I didn't like was that my whole life was being controlled by my employer so that he could be sitting on the beaches of the world, relaxing with his family, whilst I am there working to ensure that they're never out of money. If this is the kind of lifestyle that you like, then fine, two thumbs up. I'm not hating on you, but I'm just saying that's not for me. That was never for me. And I'll never live my life like that, ever, ever. Because everybody was created equal. Everybody was created equal. And I decided that I am going to be the greatest me ever. I'm, this, I'm, I'm going to be the example of my family. I stepped out the mindset, listen, my family, my generation to come will never be in lack. They'll never be in want, they'll never be in need. They will never, ever have a situation where money is a problem. I decided that. That's my decision. What decision have you made? What's your decision? What have you decided? What's your decision? You see, when you make that decision, you re you'll realize whose permission you need to succeed. You'll realize. So when you give yourself that permission, you give yourself that permission to succeed. You give yourself that permission to be great. You give yourself that permission. The moment you give yourself that permission, all hell will break loose. Everything that was smooth will start coming against you. Everything that made you happy will now make you sad. Guess what? You have to become a different person. You have to let go of a lot of things. You have to let go. You have to let go and start moving in a direction where you have decided that, listen, I am going to be the best version of me ever. Ever, 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 ever. Ever. So this is it. So now Vida and Vina have me run up and down and I'm running their errands and I'm happily running their errands because I'm saying that God is with me and this is why we're now getting this thing in Jamaica. You see, when I decided to be selfish, go out there and sell products, God said, you need to build a team. There's a lot more lives to be blessed. God said, there's going to come a time when people are not able to go out and work in such a time as this. They'll need Vida de Vina. God said a lot of my Israelites were being held captive by the Egyptians at one point, by the Babylonians at one point. He said, my people need to be free. 
They need to be freed. They need to be freed from a restricted time schedule. They need to be freed from a restricted income. They need to be freed from a broken and broken down mindset. They need to get, be given the freedom to worship. They, be, they need to be given the freedom to own their families. They, be, they need to be given the freedom to own their life. Now I'm going to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, do you see yourselves freed? I mean, if you see yourself being freed from all of these bondages, I mean, just comment in the chat box, I'm free. Just comment in the chat box, I am free. Because when you acknowledge this, when you take on this to yourself and you speak this thing from your mouth, when you speak this from your lips, when you open your mouth and you, clear, you, you declare this, you claim this, let me tell you, everything, the whole, you, God opens it up for you. He put everything in your favor for you to go out there and win. But as I'm saying, and I'll say it again, it will not be easy. Because God is giving it to you doesn't mean it will come easy. In fact, let me say it this way. When God is giving you anything, you have to fight more for it than when man is giving it to you. So you have to understand that. You have to understand that. Whenever God decides to give you something, you have to fight. You have to go all out. You have to be ready because you will turn your blessings into a curse if you're not ready to fight for it. You will turn blessings that was there for you into a curse if you're not ready for it. Because people had their blessings and because they had to go through so much, they stopped trying and started cursing. Oh, the company wasn't good. Oh, those things don't work. Oh, the product good, yes, but I mean, I tell you, everybody, all of my friends, they block me. And you start speaking curse over your blessing. We have to speak blessing over our blessing. Even when you're driving the vehicle and the tires fell off, you're still reaching your destination. Even when you're driving your vehicle and you're meeting an accident, you know that that was just a small setback. You're still reaching your destination. If you're driving your, your, your vehicle and you stop and you come out and your vehicle is stolen. Because that, was, that is what was happened to me. This entire vehicle was taken out of my hand. It was stolen. I did. That I'm going to get it. I decided that I'm still going to get it. Right? It was taken from me. But when you understand and when you decide that loser or quitter should never be beside your initials, then that is the time that you will decide that, listen, I am going to make this thing happen. I'm going to make this thing possible. It comes what may. I'm going to make this thing, this thing possible. Because if it's worth it, it's worth fighting for. If it's worth it, heck, I'm going to say it's worth dying for. If it's worth it, there are so many great leaders. Martin Luther King, he decided that it was worth it. He lost his life fighting for a cause. Malcolm X, he decided that it was worth it. He lost his life fighting for a cause. Marcus Garvey, he lost his life fighting for a cause. All of these great leaders before us, Mahatma Gandhi, these people lost their life fighting for a cause. What is the cause? What is the cause that you have right now worth fighting for? For me, my cause, I do not want to see my daughter's life at the mercy of another human being in the working world. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see me wanting to take my daughter to places where she's not able to go because I don't have the money. I don't want to see 
me being married to my wife and I'm not able to take my family on a vacation to go and enjoy a beautiful vacation. One of my mentors, him and his wife, they went to a, a house opening. He didn't mind to buy anything. They were just dream building looking at some houses. And they walked into a particular house. He was giving the story. I was there listening to him. He walked into a particular house in the United States. And this house was a beautiful house. How many bedrooms? I think it had like about five bedrooms. It had a pool. It had some sporting features like a basketball court, a tennis court. And it was, oh, it was beautiful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that house was worth in excess of four million US dollars. And when he walked in the house, they were just looking at the stuff. And he saw a particular look on his wife's face when they walked in the house. He said that look in his description is a look that he hasn't seen in a while. That look, she didn't got that look looking at any of the other houses. But that particular house brought that look out. And he pulled his checkbook and he purchased that house. Spot and um, cash. Cash. He pulled his checkbook and he purchased that house cash. This is the kind of life I want for my family because that I'm fighting for. Vida de Vina is just a vehicle that is helping me to achieve this. This is a kind of cause. What's your cause? What's your why? When you discover your why, when you find your why, if your why does not make you cry, if your why doesn't make you cry, it's not big enough. Your why, who hurts you? What hurts you? Your why. Discover your why. Discover your why, ladies and gentlemen. And let us build this business so big, so mega, so grand that every single solitary person that sees us knows that you're affiliated with Vida de Vina. Because they know that you're winners. And I know that I have a bunch of winners on this call. I know I have a bunch of winners in my team. I know that we are winning in so many ways right now. Within the first five days, the first five days of this month, the first five days of this month, I had re-qualified for my rank. What does that mean? That means more people are ranking up. That means more teas are being sold and more products are being sold. That means more people are winning. I look in my back office and I see the volumes come up. I know that more and more people are winning. More, me, more people are getting on board. More and more people are deciding that they're going to take themselves out of the hands of someone else and put everything else and their life in their hands. So I'm excited for that. I know that I'm with a team of winners. There's no doubt. So I'm saying to you, team, let us win. Let us win. Who's ready to win? Who's ready to take the challenge, win? Who's ready to fight for it? If you're ready to win, so say, let's go. Just type, let's go in the, in, the, in the chat box. Let's go. Let's go. You're ready to win, so let's go. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's all we need to know. That's all we need to know. We need to have the mindset to win. The mindset of a winner. The mindset of a champion. The mindset of a person that says, never ever say die. So I want to thank each and every one of you for being here with me today. I want to thank you very much for spending the time with me. I want to thank you very much for deciding that you will never be a loser anymore. I want you to, 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 to give yourself a pat on the back. Because you have made a decision that is going to truly, truly change your generations to come going forward. So tomorrow we come back here again at 4 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. See, tomorrow's topic, it's a very interesting, very interesting topic. I'm not even going to say it right now. I'm sure that everyone is here tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Let your team know. Get your team here. 
because we're a team of winners and that's the only thing we know so please enjoy the rest of the evening <laughs>